Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 1 for 2022 and this is question 9. So Alex gets injections of a medicinal drug. Each injection has 15 milligrams of the drug. Each day the amount of the drug left in Alex's body from an injection decreases by 40%. So the amount of the drug in milligrams left in Alex's body t days after a single injection is given by 15 times 0.6 to the power of t, where t is real. Find the amount of the drug left in Alex's body 2.5 days after a single 15 milligram injection. Give your answer in milligrams correct to two decimal places. Okay, so we have the amount, uh, the amount we say a of t, if you like, is equal to 15, 0 0.6 to the power of t. So this is our formula. We want the amount left after, what was it, 2.5 days. 2.5 days. So that's just simply going to be 15 times 0 0.6. 0 0.6 to the power of 2.5. And we've got to do this to two decimal places. So when you do that, you get 4.18. 4.18 milligram, milligrams. And that is to 2 decimal places. Okay, so that's part A. Let's have a look at part B. How long after a single 15 milligram injection will there be exactly one milligram of the drug left in Alex's body? Give your answer in days correct to uh, one decimal place. So again, our formula was the amount after time t is 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of t. Now we're told that one milligram is left so one milligram is left, so let's put one here, and we've got 15 here, 0 0.6. This time we've got to work backwards to find what t is. So first thing you're going to do, divide by 15. That gives you 0 0.6 to the power of t. We can get the log of both sides. Let's use natural log. 1 over 15 is equal to log 0 0.6 to the power of t. After that, then... Just bring the t down. That's one of the rules of one of the laws of logs. So you can bring the t down here. And then second last step then, we just got to divide across by log 0.6. So we've got log 1 over 15 divided by log 0 0.6 and that'll give us t. So what we should end up with to how many decimal places this time? To one decimal place then. Uh, t is equal to 5.3 days. Now you can check that to see do you get one. I mean, just take your, this is a check if you like. You don't have to do this in the exam, but uh, we have 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of 2 point, uh, sorry, 5.3. And you'll get one. I think there's a bit of a decimal plate. There's 0 0.000 something or other, but... Uh, remember, we rounded this, so it's not going to be exactly one. So we'll say approximately one here. Okay, so let's move on then to part C. Uh, Alex is given a 15 milligram injection of the drug at the same time every day for a long period of time. Explain why the total amount of the drug in milligrams in Alex's body immediately after the fourth injection is given by this thing here. So you can probably see that this is a geometric series. We've got 15, 15 times 0 0.6, 15 times 0 0.6 squared, 0 0.6 cubed, and so on. Well, this is just for four days, so it's not so on as, as such. But anyway, let's have a look at our timelines here. Let's say if we take um, the first injection, the second injection, third injection, uh, fourth injection. So this would be injection number one. This is injection number two, this is injection number three, and this is injection number four. And remember, we're stopping here. We're not going, we're not going any further in this direction here. So in terms of days then, this, is, this period here, this is going to be day one. So the period from here to here is day one. This is going to be day two. This is going to be day Three. So really we're only talking about three days here. At this particular time here, there's going to be 15 milligrams in his body from this, from this injection here. 
Now from this particular injection here, one day previously, there's also going to be 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of 1 milligrams left. So this is the amount left in his body from this injection. So the total amount left in his body at this particular time here is this amount here. But what about this, the second injection? Well, the second injection, there's going to be 15 milligrams times 0 0.6 to the power of 2 because this injection here has been in for two days. And then what about the original injection then from day, the beginning of day 1? Well, this injection here has been in for three days, so it's going to be 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of 3. So that's where this particular formula comes from. Now you can explain this in English as well here, uh, do a little paragraph on it. I'm not going to write that out, I'll leave that up to yourselves, but this is basically what happens. Okay, so let's move on to the next question then. Okay, so part D then. Find the total amount of the drug in Alex's body immediately after the 10th injection. Give your answer milligrams, correct two decimal places. So, okay, if you think about that then from what we did earlier, you're going to have 15 plus 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of 1 plus 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of 2 all the way up to uh, 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of 9. This is, this is 10 injections. It's not to the power of 10 here. So it's 1, 2, 3, all the way up to the 10th injection. So this would be our uh, geometric series for this particular part of the question and we've got to work out then the uh, sum of the first, the sum of the ten terms in other words. So remember your formula, it's in your maths tables but, but it's a times one minus or to the power of n all over one minus or. So a here is 15, one minus or in this case is 0 0.6 and that's to the power of, in this case, it's not to the power of 9. You've got to be a little bit careful here. You, this n here is the number of terms that we're talking about in this particular series here. So n is actually 10. And then it's divided by 1 minus 0 0.6. We've got to work that out to two decimal places. So when you do that, you get 37.27 uh, milli that's how many milligrams are in his system uh, immediately after the 10th injection, 37.27. And again, that's two, two, two decimal places here. Okay, so let's look at part E. Use the formula for the sum to infinity of a geometric series to estimate the amount of the drug in milligrams in Alex's body after a long period of time during which he gets daily injections. So now we're looking at the sum to infinity formula, which is this one here. So in our particular case, A is 15 and OR is 0 0.6. So it's just uh, 37.5. So it's 37.5 milligrams. Okay, so that's part E. Let's have a look at part F then. Uh, Jessica also gets daily injections of a medicinal drug at the same time every day. Now she gets D milligrams of the drug in each injection where D is real. Each day the amount of the drug left in Jessica's body from an injection decreases, this time by 0.15 or 15%. So what we're going to do here is look at the 15% here, it decreases by 15%. So what we're going to put in our brackets then is not the 0 0.6, it's actually going to be 0 0.85. And you can see it here in the formula that they want us to derive anyway, it's 0 0.85. Okay, so use the sum of a geometric series to show that the total amount of the drug in milligrams in Jessica's body immediately after the nth injection, where n is a natural number, is 20d, 1 minus 0 0.85n to the power of n over 3. So our formula then to start with our uh, A of T if you like this time is going to be D which is the, the, the dosage. Remember the, the other formula we had was 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of T. 15 was the uh, dose. So our dose this time is D 
and this time remember they reduce in the original question the amount of the uh, drug in the body was reduced by 40% so what we have here is 0.6 so because we're reducing now by 15% it's decreasing by 15% each day we've got to put 0 0.85 here uh, and then it's to the power of t here what will our series look like then? Well, again, you can look back at the previous questions, but we started with 15 plus and so on. So we're going to start with D plus D 0 0.85 power of 1 plus D 0 0.85 to the power of 2 and so on. And that goes all the way up to D 0 0.85 to the power of, now remember it's n minus 1, because remember we did the question back up here where we had 10 injections here, but, and here it's to the power of 9. Okay, so it's going to be n to the power of n minus 1 here. So this is our geometric series, and basically what we've got to do is we've got to turn all of that there into uh, this here. Okay, so let's work on that. So it's a geometric series again. We've got A is equal to D. Our first term is D. Our common ratio here is R, which is 0 0.85. And in this particular case, there are N terms in our series. It's not N minus 1 again, because remember, we have a D here. There are two terms here, and this is the power of 1. There are three terms here. This is the power of 2. So if there are N minus 1 terms here, and if it's the power of N minus 1, I should say there are N terms. Okay, so we want the sum of the first n terms. So let's see what that would be. A is going to be d times 1 minus r, which is 0.85, to the power of n, and that's all over 1 minus r, which is 0.85. So we've got to mess around with that now until we get what we were asked to get there. So let's have a look. So we have d, 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of n, all over 0 0.15 when we do the subtraction. Now remember what we want to get here on the bottom is a 3 and we want to get 20 on the top. Now there isn't a 20 on the top here so let's multiply the top and the bottom by 20. So what I'm going to do is multiply by 20 over 20. I'm just multiplying by 1 so I'm not changing the fraction. So let's do that then. So you would get 20 on the top times d 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of n and that's all over. When you multiply 0 0.15 by 20, you'll actually get 3. So this is, that's it done there. I think that's what we needed. 20d over 3, 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of n. That's it. Okay, so let's look at the next part of the question. So immediately after the seventh injection, there are 50 milligrams of the drug in Jessica's body. Find the amount of the drug in one of Jessica's daily injections. Give your answer correct to the nearest milligram. Okay, so we have, remember, 20 D, 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of N, all over 3. This is the amount of the drug left in Jessica's body after N injections. So we know that there are going to be 50 milligrams of the drug in Jessica's body after the seventh injection. So we got to work out D. So in other words, 50 then is going to be equal to 20 D, 1 minus 0 0.85, this is going to be the power of 7, all over 3. This is what we've got to solve then, we've got to solve for D. So let's multiply across by 3, that'll give me 150. We've got to do, okay, well, well, we'll leave it there for the moment. That'll give me down here, we just got to divide by 20, so we're going to take 150. Actually what I'll do is divide by 20 times 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of 7. I brought this over and this over here, and that should give me D then. So when you do that, and let's see how many decimal places here, correct to the nearest milligram. So when you do that, you will get 11 milligrams. And that's to the nearest milligram. 
Okay, and that's it for this particular question.